or like basement curious to see whether that's like basement is a mess honestly not in a bad way in the map it's just it seems a lot of fighting goes down there it's a yeah. real bloodbath in the basement often as we said before roll hammer just holding down fire while walking through the basement with a PZ yeah. and getting in. I do like the kills. color coding, and I think the boxes are in inter interesting positions as far as like being able to push down hallways. The color but... coding, maybe for calling, do you think? Yeah, I think it's interesting from that perspective. I think it's one of the first maps, at least community made maps, that kind of have catered to a more competitive setting. Or viability, rather, I guess. And then we have the huge, enormous outside area. And there's criticisms to do with this that those long sight lines, and really long sight lines in general, not really suited to Neo Tokyo's weapon play with that random cone of dispersion. But it's all about weapon selection. And as mm -hmm. we go into the second map of this match, I'm gonna spectate uh, Reimu. I'm just gonna watch him for like two rounds, I think. See from, what he does. From this side of the map, I'm not sure yeah. he'll be able to get that roof access as quickly as possible. There are ways. It onto depends. The roof. He could go. He could go northwest and get up the that multi-tiered ladder. Like that's not not that's not that difficult to get over there. Jinra is always doing a full assault, huh? Yeah. Have they done this throughout the tournament? I think so they did far, it last yeah, tournament they, as well. They had they one were... support last match for the end, but. It's waking up them, and they don't need to improve on it at all. Got Mega and his buddy doing some weird flank to the roof. Yeah, they. That's not bad. Wow. They they want to deny this area to their recon, and they it seems yeah. like they've already caught onto that. In, in a way that avoids that prenade area under them. I don't know why they're pushing the bad. basement. I mean, once you see three assaults on the tarmac area, you might as well go in the basement because there's a good chance you could have flanked. Remu already went down, huh? Yeah, he was stuck by the ladder. He was just, he was, there were guys on roof, there were guys by the oil tanks, and there was, there was a assault that was like southwest near the shore. And Man, Mega's just cleaning there. up. The only way he could go was basement, and he just didn't take it. I don't know why. Again, he's just playing really passively. Not utilizing his speed or anything. And when I see gray box left alone on the upper levels of the map and Red Lizard who took the ghost briefly for the beginning and that ghost calling didn't prove that useful for his team. They could see where they were anyway. It was an outside fight for the most part. Yeah, it seems to be camping the ghost now. Gray box. Which is not a bad play all things considered for support. Red Lizard but... is in the most hilarious spot on the map and oh my god I think someone sees his leg. Look, look, you see this? <laughs> He does. He didn't yeah, catch him. No, he didn't no, catch him at oh, all. Oh, he didn't see it. Oh, he oh, no. got him. Oh, no. Down. And Greybox gets a kill like... for his position as well. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, man. So ignorant, but so Because he good. wasn't moving. He wasn't moving to the motion vision, yeah. you know? Couldn't see him. It's been cut down to a 2v2 now. Is this an easily winnable round for Ooh. NSF? But Agile takes oh. out Red Lizard with that more powerful primary weapon. Where's Greybox? He's in spawn. Yeah, and Greybox stuck a frag while staying in the spawn, but it's up to him now, and once again alone in a 1 versus 2, and this could be a timeout for the first round where neither team gets a point, which isn't a bad thing, but... Called out the location of Mega, I don't think he has time to get him. Yeah, but this is what you want to see when you're in a situation like this. You're in a 2 versus 1, one of you picks up the ghost, you've already secured it, the last player can't be anywhere near it. Yeah. Mega's not going to sacrifice himself so easily. He's only got 7 HP and they don't mind time. Greybox. Oh, he takes out Mega. At least he gets that point. I think he was super conservative. Yeah, the health advantage was in Greybox's favor. So it wasn't a round that they wanted to yeah. throw away. That was a tie, huh? Makes sense. And a tie, yeah. First round. I'll be right back. I think the the one time I saw Aegil like kind of go away from his conservative fighting nature is when he was already on a seven v zero, so like he was already assured to win. Yeah, it's incredible. Like this guy's very consistent. Yeah, their confidence really does reflect the score, and at the moment they are playing much more conservatively than they were at the yeah. end of the last match. From this side, they don't have anyone really taking. I think Reimu is AFK. Any positions yet on the NSF team? Yeah, Reimu may have even timed out. He's... Aw, oh, man. 
that is a really unfortunate loss for the NSF team. That's a prime player for this map. And, and it's already down to a 5 versus 4 for the Jinrai team. Nonetheless, playing conservatively despite the numbers advantage. But this should be an easy round for Jinrai, providing they don't get fragged first. Do actually get the frag for themselves first, and that narrows it down to a 5v1 already. And the producer, producer takes it. With the Tachi. P PLB completely, PBL rather, completely unawares, and we'll be seeing a pause. I I don't like when they missed? just take a room and hold it. Um, you missed Rimu timing out. It was that just was an it? easy round for Jinra, yeah, they just... just for Jinra, yeah. That's too bad. But currently, Rimu has... I don't really seconds. know, is, is there like a, besides the roof from one side of the map, is it just... Is that the most advantageous position on this map? The, the yeah. first two rounds, I thought so, because holy shit. It's, it, it's like, only it advantageous seems... for one of the spawns, though. That's the trouble. Yeah. Ah. Is there a way to counter roof from the other spawn? Sure, Maybe. there's um, some good recon routings for certain. I already like traced a path in spec cam, but I'm going to do it now where you head towards from the southeastern spawn zone, there's some dumpsters. Which you can head up onto a wooden plank and across a wall, a fenced area, and across it, you jump over the top of the glass corridor, onto the roof of the little shrine area, and you get your own little section of roof, which isn't too useful to begin with, but from this little section of roof, you can jump over the window 